So, hello, saints. How are y'all doing today? It's Sister with the Testimony, and I have my little sweet potato again today. And I wanted to just help you out a little bit with some pictorial hands-on, haha, <laughs> hands-on information. So, on today, I wanted to share with you how this little sweet potato is bringing glory to God because it has a little picture of the odiote. And you say, what is the odiote? Well, the odiote are the sacred promises that show us what Abba Father originally said to us. And yes, I know that's misspelled. So anyhow, and yes, it has a little stain on it, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the odiote, the sacred promises that show us what Abba Father originally said to us. Now, saints, if you will turn to Zephaniah, chapter 3 verse 9 I'll try to explain to you in my limited understanding what we're talking about Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9 for then will I turn to the people a pure language that they all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent so, saints, today the problem with us trying to figure out what God is saying to us, it's usually, you know, we're so confused because, first of all, we don't have the ancient, ancient scripture. We don't have the ancient writings. And the ones that we do have have been corrupted. So we are told to search the scriptures for ourselves. And um, how many of you actually search the scripture for yourselves? You're, you're waiting on the preacher to do it for you on Sunday morning. And when God said that you're supposed to search the scripture for yourselves, like the Bereans, daily... He said, the sacred promises, saints, will show you what I'm trying to explain to you. The Lord is saying, I will explain it to you, my sacred promises, but I have to do it in the original language, the Lord says. The original language, Zephaniah 3, 9, a pure language, one that has not been corrupted. So when you start showing people the oat, the letter, the statement of fact or something promised, everything kind of opens up to us. So what are we talking about here, saints? We're talking about, once again, the seed, which is the word of God. Okay? The unstoppable motion. It looks like a little sperm. The number 50. It's called in the original ancient pictorial language, Nun. It's the offspring, Yeshua being the good seed, Satan being the bad seed. You will produce the same fruit that you came from. If you're a sweet potato, you're going to become a sweet potato. From the morning glory family. If you're a regular old potato, then you're from the nightshades. Again, it's going to be light or dark. You will produce the same fruit that you came from. The same in one way, like all the other sweet potatoes. But unique because you might be shaped differently. You might look like this little guy. 
This one's kind of longer. This one right here, hey, hefty, hefty, hefty. He's kind of short and squatty, but he's thick and round, and they're exactly the same, but completely different. The same goes for us, because we're from the offspring of Yeshua, we're the good seed. Yahuwah created good and evil so that we can make a choice saints you have a choice are you going to bring glory to the lord or are you going to bring darkness on this art on this earth the whole idea is it's up to you this little guy right here represents wa the tent peg it's the number of man, number six, but it represents man pitching his tent with Elohim, Yahuwah. It means to secure something. This little seed, which is representative of the Word of God, is literally growing a tent peg. So you would take that tent peg and you would secure your tent by placing it into the ground and hopefully saints you're not putting your tent peg in unfertile ground you're placing that tent peg you're pitching your tent with the Lord God Almighty you're securing something for the future the seed yes is the Word of God just so happens that this little seed is showing us a picture of the ancient Hebrew language, the ancient language, which is the sacred promises that Abba originally said to us. In Zephaniah 3.9, he said, I will give you a pure language. The Odiot, the sacred promises. The Ot is the letter. It's a statement of fact or something promised. Standing on the promises of God. How do we understand the sacred promises? By going back to the original text. The pictorial picture language. Ancient. So guys, check this out. Isaiah chapter 19 verse 18 in that day shall five cities in the land of egypt speak the language of canaan and swear to the lord of hosts one shall be called the city of destruction in that day shall there be an altar to the lord in the midst of the land of egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the lord and it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the lord of hosts in the land of egypt for they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a Savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. Wow. Sacred promises show us what the Lord God Almighty originally said to us. Again, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9 you know, saints, if you'll just read the word and study it, the Lord will open up the entire word to you. The word made flesh dwelling amongst us, full of grace, mercy, truth. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9. Again. For then... Will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent? Wow. The Odeo, the sacred promises. What the Lord originally said to us. The Oat, the letter, the statement of a fact or something promised. Saints, this is so cool. We are the seed. 
Just like this sweet potato is a seed, we are the seed. We're the offspring of Yahshua. We will produce the same fruit that we came from. We'll be the same as all the other seeds, but we'll be completely unique. The Lord God created good and evil so that we could make a choice. Is your choice going to be for the Lord today? Is your choice today going to be to pitch your tent with Elohim securing securing something your eternal soul to God be the glory there's a picture of the ancient language a pure language Zephaniah 3 9 the Holy Bible hmm the Holy Bible. The seed. The Word of God. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to plant in good soil. I'm going to remain with the Lord, pitching my tent with Him. cool yeah at any rate you have a choice you can decide to be with the Lord or you can decide on Satan good seed bad seed Seed. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Anyhow, saints, have a great day. Have a blessed day. Study to show yourself approved, a workman not ashamed, rightly dividing the word of God. I would encourage you to look up the ancient language. Learn it. It will reveal the true word of God to you. See, the King James Version is the one that everybody loves and they talk about. But, saints, until you get back to the truth, the sacred promises, and let Abba originally speak to you in the original language, we're not going to be of one consent because everybody's on a different page. If I'm in Habakkuk and you're over in James, <laughs> we're still in the Bible, but we're on a different page. Think about that, saints. Y'all come on and find out what the truth is, the sacred promises, the original language. Pitch your tent with Elohim. And you'll be the good seed. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. It's Sister with a Testimony. I hope that you truly let this be planted in good soil. That you have a harvest of good seed. I bless you. I love you, saints. Find out what the sacred promises are in the original language. The pure language. Men are teaching you from scriptures that men have distorted. I love the King James Version, but once I found out there's more truth in the ancient pure language, and once the Spirit of God, the Ruach, speaks through that Logos, and you will never be the same again. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. I'm going to pitch my tent with Elohim. I'm going to stand on the promises of God. Oh, wait a minute. The sacred promises, the ones that Abba originally wanted me to know, the pure language. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Study to show yourselves approved, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony.
I'm learning and growing. Hallelujah.